Hello everyone and welcome to the Fry Smiles Oral Health Network. I am your host Scott Fry and we are back today to talk more about tea and tooth staining with you all. And I mentioned that we'd be going over some specific methods of reducing tooth staining from tea. And one easy way to do this is to simply add milk to your tea when you drink it. Now, this isn't particularly popular here in America, but for many of you watching around the world, and especially across the pond in the UK, this is something you probably do quite often when you're enjoying your tea. And the reason why this is effective is because those two staining molecules, the theoflavins that are particularly sticky and particularly dark, that are found in your more oxidized teas like black tea, these compounds are very attracted to the milk proteins and fats found in animal milks. Now, these milk proteins called caseins will go ahead and just stick along the outside of these theoflavins and keep them from being available to stain your teeth. Now, just because uh, these compounds, the theoflavins, which actually have some good health benefits, aren't available to stain your teeth, this does not mean that you're reducing the health benefits of your tea by consuming it with milk. The studies have found that in fact, once the tea makes it into your digestive tract, that your body is able to kind of separate out these good compounds from the milk so that way you can absorb them and get the benefits. So this, using milk, um, you can't use soy milks, unfortunately, no rice milks, no almond milk, but you want to use the highest fat content milk you can find that's from an animal. So if you want to even use whole milk in your tea, that would probably be best. But whatever tastes good to you is one effective way of going ahead and reducing tooth staining from tea. So I hope you enjoyed this little tip today, and I'll see you guys next week. Take care.